everyone! In this video, we're going to be observing an interesting phenomenon with the help of some termites. Now, you might have observed some termites before, but if you're trying to conduct a simple experiment with them, in this video, we're going to show you how. Termites communicate and observe the world with the help of chemoreceptors on their antennae. One of the main signals that they use is a special chemical called a pheromone. Certain pens may mimic trail pheromones that termites tend to follow. So let's see if we can put together a small experiment using different types of pens. Now, I have here two lines. They're both about 10 centimeters, and they're both drawn with PaperMate brand pens. I have a red line and a blue line. Before we get started, I'm going to make a short hypothesis that if exposed to both of these lines, termites won't show any preference between one line color or the other. Well, let's try to test this hypothesis. What do you think the independent variable here? The thing that I am changing as the experimenter, I for independent, remember, is the color of the line. That's my independent variable. So how should I get my dependent variable, or how should I measure in this experiment? Well, one method is to time the termites on each line and to see which line they stay on longer. So let's go ahead and try that. All right, you can write down nine seconds, and we're gonna time this for a whole minute to see if the termite returns to our line. All right, at 24 seconds it returns, and at 28 it leaves again. So add four more seconds. It's back at 32. All right, it left at 48. That's another 16 seconds. Looks like it's lost interest in the red line for now, but that's nine plus four plus 16, which is 29 total seconds. Let's see how it does on the blue line. Well, it started out on the blue line and didn't stay there for very long at all, so I'm not gonna record any seconds to start. Oh, it looks like it's wandering away, but for this trial, remember we're recording its length on the blue line, not on the red line. So any time spent on the red line, we're going to ignore. And there it goes to the bottom of the red line. And wait to see if it shows up again. It looks like this termite just really likes the red line. So as we come to the end of our one minute timer, we might just have to add zero seconds in our data table for its time spent on the blue line. Now we can run this experiment again with another termite to see if we get the same results. This termite is starting out on the red line. It's been about four seconds there, so write down four seconds. It returns at 10. And leaves at 14. Write down another four seconds. Turns at 26. Leaves at 31. Returns. Never mind. Turns at 43. Add another one second. Returns at 48. at 54. So this termite didn't spend as much time on the red line as our other, but let's tally up our total seconds. 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 6 should be 20 seconds on the red line for trial 2. Well, this termite was placed on the blue line, but it seems to be avoiding it almost completely, sort of like our other termite. It's actually having more fun exploring the edges of the page than going near the lines.
well, it looks like this termite didn't have any interest in the blue line at all. So we'll put zero seconds for trial two in the blue line. Now we have a little bit of data to work with. If we're to do this experiment and make it better, we'd want to repeat it with lots of different termites and do many more trials. And we'd probably want to run some statistical analysis just to make sure that our data is valid. Now that you've seen these termites in action, think about what other experiments you could design with different types of pens. Good luck making your conclusions about termites and pen colors. See you later!